meek shall inherit the earth. And I thought, there's something wrong with that, that line. It just doesn't make sense to me. Meek just doesn't seem to me to be a moral virtue. Meek is not a good translation. All right, let's see it. What it means is this. Those who have swords and know how to use them, but keep them sheathed, will inherit the world. You should be a monster, an absolute monster, and then you should learn how to control it. So this is pure and utter nonsense. The Greek word in question here is prais, which in Koine Greek has reference to someone who treats other people with gentleness, with kindness, with meekness, because they are not overly impressed with their own sense of self-importance. And so it is intended as a contrast to and the antithesis of the person who treats other people dismissively and condescendingly and belligerently because they are impressed with their own sense of self-importance. So uh, there's no sense inherent in the word's actual usage of a degree of constraint or contextual control in this treatment of other people uh, with gentleness. It just refers to that gentle treatment. And so that is being read in by Dr. Peterson because he does not want to submit to what the main message of the Beatitudes in the broader Sermon on the Mount is, which is that God's people are are the opposite of what the world expects God's people to be. It's not the successful, it's not the warrior, it's not the violent. It is the poor, it is the gentle, it is the persecuted, it is the hungry and the thirsty. Dr. Peterson wants to read all of this in to renegotiate the message of the Beatitudes and the Sermon on the Mount because Dr. Peterson wants this to be about what the world expects God's successful people to be about. And it is, again, just pure and utter nonsense.